Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Can you believe it's only a week until Christmas? I cannot believe it. Time has really, really flown by this year. In spite of all the craziness, hasn't it? I mean, my goodness, I can't believe we're already at the end of 2020. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about shedding doubt and pursuing your dreams. Because this year, has been challenging in so many ways, but I honestly believe that 2021 is going to be about transformation for so many of us in so many ways. Now, as you can see in this video, I'm drawing a dragonfly for this journal page. And the reason that I'm doing a dragonfly is because dragonflies are a symbol of transformation and change. And I want to share with you an excerpt out of a book that I have called Medicine Cards, The Ways and Thoughts of Animals. And it's really very interesting about dragonflies. So the dragonfly is the essence of the winds of change, the messages of wisdom and enlightenment, and the communications from the elemental world. This elemental world is made up of the tiny spirits of plants and of the elements of air, earth, fire, and water. In essence, this world is full of nature spirits. So what are you believing for? What are your favorite things about your life? Think for just a moment while you're watching this journal page and listening to me talk about this transformation that I believe we're going to all be having in 2021. Think for a moment about what you're grateful for. Even though this year has been really chaotic and uncertain and full of trauma and loss and anguish and turmoil, I want you to think about for a moment what you're actually grateful for, even if you need to dig deep. And imagine how it might feel to dive into your life and pursue your true potential in this next upcoming year. What do your days look like? What kind of people are in your life? And what's your profession? What hobbies do you make time for? Even though we're not sure what 2021 is going to hold, I think that you have the opportunity at any moment to take hold of your life to create the life that you want to live. And now that we're wrapping up 2020 and going into the new year, what do you need to let go of at the end of this year in order to move into 2021 and be ready for transformation? I know that for me, the biggest thing that I'm letting go of is self-doubt. Self-doubt has been my struggle again and again, and this is the year that I'm letting it all go. If you're constantly doubting what you say or what you do, this is the year to make a change. It's time to transform your thinking. Sometimes when it comes to self-doubt, it's really difficult to realize that you're even doing it, especially if it's become a natural part of your inner dialogue. So let's start by asking yourself a few questions so that you can understand how self-doubt manifests in your life. And while I'm asking these questions, you can take a moment and pause the video if you'd like and pull out your journal and maybe write the answers down or take some time after you watch the video and go back through and answer the questions in your journal. But I want you to really think about what comes to mind when I, when I ask these questions. So the first question is, how often do you sacrifice your needs for what others want? When you sacrifice your needs for others, you're putting yourself second and neglecting your own importance. You really need to put your own oxygen mask on first before tending to those around you. You'll hear that time and time again when you're flying on an aircraft. You always hear the flight attendant say, to make sure you put your own oxygen mask on before you put it on someone sitting next to you. If you're not taking care of yourself and making sure that you are well, how can you have the energy or patience for taking care of others? 
Do you frequently apologize for things you don't need to apologize for? Saying I'm sorry when it isn't necessary isn't always helpful, and this may stem from anxiety or depression. I am positive proof of that. I used to say I'm sorry for everything. Even when someone would invite me to do something, and either I just didn't want to or wasn't able to, I always started my decline with, I'm sorry, but dot dot dot, fill in the blank. Why? It's not necessary. If this is you, and it's something that resonates with you, try switching it up to something like, thank you for thinking of me, I'm not able to at this time. That's, that sounds a whole lot better than always apologizing for something that you cannot or don't want to do. Number three, have you ever been called or referred to as a people pleaser? Do you always have the desire to make sure people like you or are happy? People pleasing can be a sign of not feeling accepted or loved for who you are. I found that when I constantly felt like I wasn't accepted among my partner's friends and family, that this is exactly what I was manifesting without even realizing it. And once I let go of that old tape playing in my head and repeated these affirmations to myself on a daily basis, it changed everything for me. And to be honest, thanks to my wonderful therapist who told me to use these affirmations, it was really helpful also. We are all children of the Most High King, and we are all made in His image. We are loved and accepted. We just have to know that we are deep down inside. So the next time you're feeling like you're not accepted by those who you associate with, try repeating these affirmations on a daily basis and really let it sink in. It really does work. I'm living proof of that. So the three affirmations that I want you to take a moment to write down for yourself, or you can come back to this part of the video and write them down in your journal later. The first one is, I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. The second one is, my friends and family love and accept me just the way I am. My friends and family love and accept me just the way I am. And then the last one is, I love and accept myself just the way I am. I love and accept myself just the way I am. And then the next question, do you stop yourself from speaking up for yourself? I know that I used to do that and sometimes I still do. Sometimes I find it difficult when we're faced with conflict. It can be difficult to stand up for ourselves, especially if we hate conflict like I do. I've found myself time and time again feeling like I can't speak up for myself for fear of making someone else angry. So instead, I would walk away hurt or upset. And then later after thinking it over, of course I would think of all the things I wish I had said, but sometimes it is best to just walk away. Give yourself time to just calm down and then you can come back to it if you're able to and then let the person know that either they had a condescending tone or they gave you a weird look. I know that when I adopted this practice with my partner, it really opened up a whole other level of communication between us. And we're able to discuss things now on a more rational level. Instead of him saying something off the cuff and jokingly like he sometimes does, and then me getting immediately offended, if it does hurt my feelings and I take a few moments to walk away and think about it, most of the time I realize that he was only kidding and I don't need to be offended and I need to just change my attitude about it because I can get offended about some of the simplest things sometimes and I know that about myself. But being able to actually come back to him and, and talk to him and let him know that what he said really upset me or offended me, it's really helped our relationship in more ways than I can even explain to you. Now, I'm not going to lie, I still get angry. <laughs> I still get hurt sometimes. 
But like I said, when I let myself calm down and we can discuss it, it usually ends up okay. Now, considering these questions can really help reveal any self-doubt that you might have that you may not even notice that you have. And there's another symptom of self-doubt, and that's critical self-talk. What do you say to yourself on a daily basis? The way that you see yourself and the world around you is affected by the way you think and you talk to yourself. Do you speak to yourself in a compassionate and loving way? Or are you berating yourself and constantly beating yourself up again and again? Try saying some loving affirmations to yourself on a daily basis and tell yourself, I love you and say it in the mirror and mean it. I know it may sound ridiculous, but it really truly does work. Louise Hay is one of my favorite motivational healers. And this is the most effective method for learning to love yourself and to see the world as a safe and loving place. Whatever we say or we think to ourselves is an affirmation. All of the self-talk going on inside our heads is a constant stream of affirmations, good or bad. They say that what you think about is what you will bring about. So the next time you're thinking negative self-talk, stop yourself, stop yourself in your tracks and say, I love you. And then start planting healing thoughts and ideas that support you in increasing your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and create some inner peace and joy. I truly pray that your 2021 is going to be a better year than this year and that every year going forward will just get better and better. And with this latest new moon that we just had on the 14th of December, I started planting the seeds for all the wonderful things that I want to manifest into my life in 2021. I'm ready for transformation of my thoughts, my heart, and my life. How about you? So on my website, I'll leave the link down below. I'm offering a course called Empowerment in 21 Days. I would love to have you guys join me there. It's all completely self-paced. You can start when you want to, but it runs for 21 days. And this is the program where I like to begin every January to reset my body and my nutrition after the holidays. But it's not just about the food that we eat that creates vibrant health. It's also about the thoughts we think and the negativity that exists in all aspects of our lives. So in this program, we're going to uncover the thoughts and decisions that are currently holding you back from living your best life. You'll receive a 21-day self-empowerment guide to lead you through this 21-day empowerment reset cleanse, plus my empowered kitchen recipes guide with over 60 recipes for juices, smoothies, breakfasts, lunch, and dinners to choose from. You'll also receive 65 positive power thoughts for you to implement into your daily life to guide you through this 21 day reset. In addition to all of that, you'll also receive access to my private coaching group on Facebook where I'll have videos for you to access throughout this journey and I'll be available for questions and support. I'll leave the link down below so that you can check it out and I hope I see you guys there. Thank you so much for joining me in this video this evening. I really appreciate you guys coming back time and time again and supporting my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please be sure to click that subscribe button and be sure to click that little bell so that you can get notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.